your whole set up. Good morning, good morning, my olive. Good morning to the Kurt, to the parking lot group, to the inside group. We bring you greetings in the name of our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Again, as I tell you week after week, we are a church and a community that's about praise. Father, we, we thank him. We thank him for the opportunity to give him praise and thanks. Today is really special for us because today is our 100 and 23rd church anniversary and it is it is by no happenstance it, it is because we've come this far by faith and it is because of a god that we've chose to serve and on this corner so long and we ask that you praise the lord with us that you lift up holy hands that you don't hold anything back whether inside outside or in your homes and that you celebrate this with us today I'll turn it over to Deacon Beecham for our script. Amen. God is good. We have prayer first. Almighty God, we come before you this morning, Lord, once again, thanking you for yet another day that you've made that we should rejoice and be glad in it. We know each and every time we open our eyes, it's a miracle from you, dear Father. So we thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy. We ask that you bless all the sick and the shut in. Bless all of those who's in need today, dear Father. All of those that need salvation. All of us here in the church, dear God. We thank you, Lord, for 123 years in existence. That means you've been with us for a long time. You're still with us, Lord. You sit high and you look low. You see all, you know all. We ask that you continue to bless us throughout the day. And be with us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture this morning comes from the one in Psalms. I'm going to read 1, verse 1 and verse 2. Shout for joy. To the Lord, all the earth, worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. I've read to you Psalms 100, verses 1 and 2. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and most of the doers of his holy word. Amen. You may be seated. Once again, as we come together, it's just good to be here this morning. Another blessing from the Lord that He woke each and every one of us up this morning. And He had a reason for it. Is it some folk that He called home to glory with Him? But He decided to keep us here. And you know, a lot of times we say, the Lord came by and, and touched me and woke me up this morning. I'm here to tell you that the Lord stayed by your bedside all night long and watched over you, watched over me. And he had his angels camp round about you. Keep you away from that hurt, harm, and day and woke you up and said, I got something else for you to do. So I thank him for that. And I thank him that he allowed my Allah to be there for 123 years. Because that's the Lord. And he's blessed my Allah as well. Blessing each and every one of you. I want y'all to join in with us as we do this song. The Lord is blessing you. It'll be easy to pick it up. Oh, 
Lord is blessing you every day and wakes you up and getting in your blessing. And my blessing. We just thank you for joining in with us this morning. Turn you over to the choir.
Just kind of birth out of, amen. We, amen. We, we want to recognize for the midst of that, in the midst of that 123 years of everybody birthing out of it, that it is still in existence. Amen. Because I've been a part of churches, amen, and when folk birth out of it, that, that church gone. 
Amen. Amen. As they birth and birth, and this one dries up so much, but it's a testament to the faithfulness and the commitment of the Mount Olive members that we have been able over the 123 years to still be willing to praise the Lord and it's still in existence. Amen. Amen. You see how this wonderful red? Amen. Red is the color. Amen. 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 I'm not going to keep you long today. I hope. Amen. Um, turn with me if you will. Amen. Because I thought it was a song, but I'm going to preach. Amen. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. And let's go to Hebrews uh, 11, beginning at verse 1. And we might go down to verse 5 or 6. Amen. Amen. Again, that's Jeremiah. Chapter 29, verse 11. Then we'll go to Hebrew. Um, chapter 11, beginning at the first verse. Amen. If you can, if you will, stand in reverence to the reading of God's word. I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Amen. Let's turn over to Hebrew uh, 11 beginning at verse 1. And it reads Says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the world was framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. I'm going to stop there. Amen. 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 We use for uh, a theme or a scripture, a subject today. We've come this far by faith or fate. We've come this far by faith or by fate. Fate, right? Which one is it? Which, which, which? Which, which one is it? We, we sing songs, we come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, trusting in his holy word. Right? I, 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 I thoroughly believe that we've come this far by faith. But, 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 but some would question, is it faith or is it fate? Right? It, you, 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 you know, you know, you know some of us, you know, when, when we talk about things, they think about, you know, well, I, I, I'm reminded when, I, when I, we're on our, our deepest calls all the time, and sometimes, and even Bible study, I, I, sometimes somebody comes in a little bit late, and Deacon Hall always refers and said, no, nah, and we say, sorry for being late. He says, no, you exactly where you are supposed to be at that appointed time. So he doesn't believe that there's no lateness, right? So when he says that, he's saying that, that things happen exactly the way they're supposed to be. So when you start to think like that, that says that you said that there is already a plan and a roadmap that's laid out for us, but it's just up to us to follow it. So if I ask you again, have we come this far by faith? Or have we come by fate? Well, maybe. 
Maybe we quiet because we, 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 we don't understand the difference between faith and faith. Maybe, maybe there's some quietness because we need to make sure that we understand the difference between faith and faith. Amen. Amen. The Bible, uh, it says uh, faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. That's faith. That's faith. Uh, a strong belief in God or uh, in the doctrine of, of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. Right, 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 right. We, we, we're not trying to look for proof when we're talking about faith. We're not trying to say that, 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 that I, I know it's going to happen because I just saw it. That ain't faith. If you just saw it, it's not faith. Right. It's that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. It means faith is something that you hope for, that you have yet to see come to fruition. But you believe deep down in your heart that it will come to pass. You know, a lot of us think we operate on faith, and and and, 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 and we and we've seen it before. It's just that we ride on the movie somehow that ain't faith. If he did it before, he'll do it again. See, like, oh yeah, 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 we come this far by faith. What? We're leaning and trusting on the Lord. Amen. But here it is, it says, but the but the one I can hear is faith. Faith is the development of events beyond a person's control, regarded as determined by a supernatural power. Yeah. So have we come this far by faith or have we come this far by faith? We read in Jeremiah at the beginning, and Jeremiah read, and it said that, that he says, he says, I I know, he says, I, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. So if he, if he, if he knows the thoughts that he has for us, that means that he's already worked it out. And he says, and, and in the midst of this thought that I have for you, I only want things that are good to go and go your way. And in the midst of all this goodness that's coming your way, I, I, I know what the outcome is going to be. He said an expected end, that means he knows. So when you start thinking like that, that means like, that sounds like faith to me. That he knows exactly what he wants for us and he's already mapped it out exactly the way he wants it to be. But I said, oh God, that's a good thing. That's a good thing that he's worked it out for us, that he has the plan for us. But you know what tripped it up? You know what tripped up the plan? Uh, uh, his exact plan for us? He, he messed around and gave us free will. It was all fine and dandy in the garden. Everything was just right. He set us up for success. He had the plan worked out just for us. We messed around and ate the apple. Got some knowledge before we were supposed to. Because we weren't ready for that knowledge that we received. Then ever since then, everything went haywire. Because we started thinking on our own. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. He said, but lead not unto thy own understanding. Why? He said, in all thy ways acknowledge him. Tell him that he is. And he will what? Direct your path. But the problem, because we have free choice, we always, most times, nine times out of ten, we always choose the wrong choice. Why? Because the flesh is contrary to the will of God. Because what I want ain't necessarily what he wants for me. Everything that looks good to me ain't good for me. So we find ourselves, I say, is it faith? Or is it faith? Say, yeah, 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 he's worked it out. 
he's worked out the plan, but, I, but once that free will went in, faith, faith, and faith had to work in conjunction. Right? He said, he said, now, now since, since, since I had the plan worked out for you, I had everything exactly the way it was supposed to be. But because you messed up and because you got free will, what I've got to do now is ask your permission that you would give your free will back to me. He said, because you can do what you want to, but I'm asking you to trust and believe in me and to order my steps. I'm telling you, I'm coming on, Lord, back. He said, I'm back to you. The reason that he died, because he wanted to reconcile us back to him. He said, no, no, is it faith or is it faith? I ask you again. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's faith, but it's also faith. So when we start thinking about that, he says, okay. He said, I, I, I know what I want for you to have. I know exactly how I want you to go. But now once I want you to give it back to me and say, Lord, take control. Have my life. Do with me what you want me to do. Have your way all of my stuff. Grab on my tongue, speak through me, walk for me. I want you to talk for me. I want you to not let me think, but I want you to think. I want to go where you want me to go, not where I want to go. I want you to do everything for me. I need to ask your permission. Ain't that something? See, that's why it's faith, right? Right? Because ain't any of us going through on our daily, in our daily lives, and our daily going through. Lord, will you? Can I? Help us, you know, the minute we, we, we couldn't wait to be grown, right? We were asking permission from our, from our parents over and over. We're like, oh, oh, the minute we got a chance, we didn't have to ask nobody that. You're like, you think I'm going to ask God? I've been waiting all this time to be grown. And then I'm be a grown man and still have to ask somebody for permission? Y'all know I'm telling it like it is. You're like, I can make my own decisions. I can make my own choices. I can do the right things. I know right from wrong. Yeah, I know right from wrong. I know right from wrong. You know right from wrong. And sometimes you know wrong and we still go to wrong. Why? Because sometimes wrong seems that. I'm just calling it like it is. Sometimes wrong seems that. Be like, man, man, man. I know I should not be out here all night. I know I should be out here drinking, partying, having a good time. Uh, but you know, that's easy for us to say, those who is passing by. But when you out there in it, you in that age, you're like, oh no, ain't nothing better. Ain't nothing better. Ain't nothing better. You know what? Uh, and that's why I said we come this far by faith and faith. Right? Thank the Lord for keeping us. Because we were not always where we are. Thank the Lord for keeping us by faith and by faith because even in the midst of our wrongdoings and our shortcomings, he still, he kept on keeping and keeping and keeping and keeping us. Thank the Lord that there were some who came before us who had gone through some of the things that we were still in the midst of. That they were able to try to set us straight and say, guess what? I know what you're doing, and I know it's not right, but I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you that the Lord gives you chance after chance after chance after chance. Somebody pray for me. Yes, Somebody was praying for Mount Island. Yes, there was some prayer going on at Mount Island. Because there was some prayer going on to make it 123 Yes. I ask you, is it faith or is it faith? Yeah. Romans 5 and 9 says, For by one man's disobedience many were sinners, but by the obedience of one shall many be righteous. Why? Who is that one obedient? It's because Christ redeemed us back. Because he was obedient to the word. Because his father said there is no other way in all of us to get back right with him. After sin had taken place in the garden, he said, except I got to send my son down. Amen. Amen. And, and then because of that, we can have faith and faith working in conjunction with one another. Right? 
He said because of his righteousness, we are able to now be righteous. Not because we are righteous. It's because he who dwells within us allows us to be someone that we are not. I need you to hear that. Because of he who dwells within us allows us to be someone that we are not. I ain't got to be no amen on that because I know that to be true. Because I know that when you come to recognize that it's not because of you that makes the right decision, because of him that makes the right decision, because he dwells in you, because he talks for you too, because he leads you. When you come to recognize that, that's when you know that you know that you know that that, that you that you don't you you gonna miss everything. You you it's almost like you see stuff way in the future and you're like, oh, I know that don't mean me no good. It's coming. You see, it just gone by you because he's watching out for you. Because if it was you, you'd have to do like we do when you, by the next year, we have to do a quick reaction. Right? Because we ain't got that anticipation like he does. Amen. He says, he says, oh, no, 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 no. Because of him, he said, I, I know, I know that, that faith is exactly what we have, but just not just faith. It is faith with it. Right. So we've come this far by faith and faith. Yeah. What? Leaning and depending on the Lord. Yeah. See, 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 when, 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 when you have to know that, that the reason that we are where we are, because somebody a long time ago decided that they were not going to trust in themselves, but they were going to trust in the one who could give them the kind of results that we desire. Right. He said, no, 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 we come this fall by faith, leaning on the Lord. Leaning on him, leaning on him, leaning on him, leaning on him, leaning on him. You know, when you lean, you do a kind of look. And I had to get off that. And you know why I had to get off that? Because I weigh a little bit. Amen. I ain't really light. Amen. So so I was not sure whether or not this, 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 this thing in which I leaned upon could support the weight that I was putting against it. So we can say I've been coming this far by faith, leaning on the Lord. I, when you start saying that, that means that you've got some confidence in the fact that who you are leaning on can handle everything that you put up on it. I was like, oh no, he says, oh no, we leaning. We leaning on the Lord. We know we serve a mighty God. Because I know some of the stuff just me alone that I've leaned on him for. Ah, if he was a weak God, he would have crumbled over a long time ago. But because he's such a mighty God, a mighty God we serve, because he is a strong tower, because he is a wheel in the middle of a wheel, because he is my all in all, because he is all that I need, because he can support me anything that I do, because I can jump up on him, I can lean up against him, I can pull, and he's still got me. So you got, it has to be, it had to be, when we talk about we come this far by faith, we have to think about it, that, 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 that the only way we could have made it thus far, the only way that we could have gotten to 123 years if somebody had a little faith. That's right. All right. All right. Oh no, somebody had to have some faith That's right. in the midst of this struggle. If there was no faith, there would not have been anything because if there had not been some faith, because I can't, you can't tell me that ever since Mount Olive was in existence, that everything was rosy, that the church was filled to the realm that, that, that you had. You can't tell me that, that it was always like that, that every year was, was prosperous and everything was all right. You, got, and you can't tell me that everything was always complete. So there had to be in the midst of that time that there was some downtime. But even in the midst of the downtime, that the Lord still provided. Yeah, now he provided. He provided. 
he worked it out. I know we can take some credit. We can say, oh, well, we had a good educated uh, group of people here. We had folk who were trained, right? And, and, and folk who, who paid their tithes, who were able to pay our bills and, and all those things. Folk who, who, were, who, were, who were consistent. We had a few, a remnant, but they were good remnant. What made your good remnant of folk stay? Your good remnant of folk could have left. What kept your good remnant of folk with good jobs? You could have lost your good jobs. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? But he knew that you had been trained in a way because you had decided that you were going to have faith in him, no matter what the circumstances were, and because you did not lean to your own understanding, because you trusted in him, because you allowed him to direct your path, you are here today. Amen. Amen. Faith says, well, 1 John 5 and 4, for whatsoever is born of God, overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Right, right, right. He, he said, because, because we have this faith, because we trust and believe in him, we have overcome the stipulations and the, and the shortcomings of the world, it is much bigger than that. It, well, he's bigger than the world. He is God. And God all by himself. Yeah. And not only, and I'm getting ready to come to a close, not only did he, did, 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 did this faith that it says, so then Romans 10 and 17 and so, so then faith cometh by hearing. Turn coming by hearing. Well, where do you hear it from? Faith coming by hearing. Hearing what? He said faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. He said so faith coming by hearing. So if it's, if it's, if it's by hearing, ah, so the reason that this corner has stayed for 123 years because there was some word being preached. See, I need you to hear that. Because there was some word being preached. Thank you. That was the word being preached. Because it says, faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if there had not been over this 123 years, had there not been some word being expounded in this place, this place would not have You hear me? Mm -hmm. it, it, it wouldn't have made it. Because, because if we had been born on our own and doing our own thing, not no word being expounded from the pulpit, no word being expounded from, from, from the deaconship. Uh, if there had not been no word being taught in Sunday school, if there had not been any Bible study in the Sunday school, in the BTU, if there had not been any of that, what purpose? Are you serve? Well, well. Says we've come this far by faith, leaning and dependent on the Lord. And the only way that we can lean and depend on him is that we believe that his word is true. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, yes, yeah, the reason that we can go 123 years because we have this what? Basic instructions before leaving earth here yeah, that we trust in that we believe in, that we that we often learn about, that because of that, we keep going on and on and on because there is some word being delivered. Mm -hmm. We can go on and on and on. So is it faith? Or is it faith? 
It is both. And without faith, the Bible says that it is impossible to please him. Right? It is impossible. If we're not operating in the faith mode, it's impossible to please him. We can't ever get it right. If we don't have faith in him, we might as well all just walk out the door. Right? If, if we don't trust that he is going to be our all in all, if we don't trust that he is our way maker, if we don't trust that, we might as well open up the doors and not come back. Right? Because you're wasting your time. Did you want to say you're wasting your time if you don't believe that? Uh, the next time you find yourself in a situation, don't call your friend. The next time you find yourself coming up short where it is, don't call mama, don't call daddy. The next time you feel like things are not working out, don't come to the church and say this. The next time you find yourself in that situation, I, I dare you to get down on your knees. I dare you to call on the name of Jesus. I dare you to say, Daddy, I need you. I dare you to trust in him and say, I can't see my way out. I don't know how it's going to be fixed, but I trust you. I believe you. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to go wherever you want me to go. I'm going to do whatever you want me to do. I, your way, not my way. Your will, not my will. When the next time you find yourself, if you call on the name of the Lord, if you say, Jesus, my high power, if you say, Jesus, my will in the middle of a will, Jesus, my all in all, Jesus, my, my savior, Jesus, my friend, Jesus, my deliverer, Jesus, my help, Jesus, my savior, Jesus, my daddy, Jesus, you are everything I need. You're everything that I want. I trust, I believe, and I will go and do whatever you want me to do. We come this far by faith and by faith. And because our faith is strong, our faith is concrete. Amen. 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 Doors of the church open. of believers. 
that he would turn to Christ for the salvation of his soul. Amen. Mr. Eric Flores uh, for salvation in Christ. Amen. We have prayer for the healing Aaron, Carol, and Helen for healing. Pray for Vivian Taylor, for Nicole Snoop. Snap. 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 Pray for Alexander A. Purvis and the Mount Island family. Special prayer for the church for the anniversary and the homicide victims. Praise report to the V is out of rehab and back at home. Amen. We, are, we serve a good God, don't we? Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. We're doing a virtual hand touch. Eyes closed, hands virtually touching. Amen. We thank you, oh God, right now, oh God, for being who you have been in spite of who we have been. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for looking down upon us, especially the Mount Island Church family for over 123 years. Father, we thank you, O oh Father, Father, for keeping us to not lean to our own understanding. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you that you take these foregone names that were mentioned, oh God. You know what they stand in need of. You know their situation. You know all about them. You know what they want, what they need, and what you should provide. So, Father, we ask, oh God, that you start doing the providing. We ask, oh God, that you start doing the healing. We ask, oh God, that you be God and that you, you give us that wow factor, oh God, because we know that you're not just an ordinary God. We know that you're not a God that can just do little things. We know that you're a God who can do great things, oh God. So we're looking for great things, oh God, to come from you right now, oh God. We name and we claim the victory, oh God, because all the victory belongs to you, oh God. Every surgery that's about to take place, oh God, we ask that you get in the midst of that, oh God. That your hands work it out through the surgeon, oh God. That you make everything all right, oh God. Every medicine that we're taking, oh God, we ask, oh God, that you give a special boost to this medicine, oh God. That this medicine does everything that it's supposed to do, oh God. We ask right now, oh God, those who are lost loved ones, oh God, that you go in and you do the healing, oh God. That you right now that we can depend and trust on you because you are a God, a God of healing, a God of salvation. We ask right now, God, that you bless this nation, oh God, that's stricken with this COVID-19. We have sickness all over, oh God, people dying everywhere, oh God. We ask right now in your mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that you do the healing of this land, oh God. That, 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 that we start to be people who think about not ourselves, but others as well, oh God. That we may be a people who think people first and us last, oh God. That we lift you up, oh God. That we become a nation that is a nation that is about you and not about ourselves. That we become a nation that is about in God we trust. That we trust and depend and lean on you, oh God. Father, we ask, oh God, that you, that you hear our voice, oh God, that you look down upon us, that you walk with us, that you talk with us, that you be in our midst, that you be a part not just on Sundays, but Monday through, through Saturday, even that you walk with us, oh God, and that you are in our lives, that you order our steps, that our steps are steps that you want us to go. Father, we ask this in Jesus' name, we pray, amen, and thank God.
Good morning, Mount Holly. Good morning. Good morning. Are there any visitors today at our service? Could you please give your name and your church affiliation?
Thank you. that wrong. <laughs> 